Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is the first video of advanced course on design of a fractional slot, concentrated winding, axial flux, permanent magnet motor. So this course is an advanced course and we will skip most of introductory concepts right so before starting this course you can watch the ipm motor design course or induction motor design course right so here is the structure of the motor that we are going to design this is a single sided axial flux pm motor this is the stator core a stator core plus winding and we have magnets and finally this is the back iron of the rotor core so in this course the aim is to design this motor these are motor parameters. The output power is 4 kilowatt and the base speed is 750 RPM. The rated output torque is 51 Newton meter and the line to line terminal voltage is 220 volts. The desired efficiency is higher than 90% and the air gap should be greater than or equal 1 mn. So here you can see the streamlines and we have the flux density vectors, right? Different analysis types that we need to do for design of this motor. In this course, we will do both 3D and 2D analysis. Yes. So, because of the complex structure, we cannot rely on 2D results only. Okay. So, we will generate 3D model and then we will generate a simplified 2D model. We will use 2D model for optimizations and for fast calculation of some parameters, right? But finally, to verify the results, we have to use this 3D model, okay, to validate waveforms, efficiency, and so on. So here are active parts of the motor. This is the slotted stator core. We have a stator tooth, a stator back iron, okay? And this is the stator winding. This winding type is called fractional slot, concentrated winding or FSCW. In this winding type, we don't have any overlap right in end winding so this is an important advantage of this motor type and here are magnets so we assume magnets are magnetized in axial direction okay so here you can see the direction of the magnetization of these two magnets the blue color is the north pole and the red color is the south pole. So here you can see the Cartesian reference frame X, Y, and Z and also the cylindrical reference frame or theta and Z. So for north magnets, the direction of the magnetization is in the direction of Z axis. And for south magnets, the 
direction of the magnetization is in opposite direction. So this is our assumption in this structure. And when we want to set the direction of the magnetization, we will use these directions. So yes, we have many, many structures for axial flux motors. We have double rotor structure, right? Double stator structure. And we have different magnetization types, direction of the magnetizations. But here in this course, our focus is on this structure. Then when you learn how to design and analyze this structure, you can extend ideas. Okay, so we don't study different structures at the same time, right? To avoid any confusion. So our focus is on this model. We will create 3D models, 2D models, and generate the results, right? And compare. And the design workflow is based on this structure. Finally, we have the rotor core, the back iron for the magnets, right? To can find the magnet flux. However, we have cordless structures. Okay. So anyway, this is the aim of the course, a low speed, high torque motor. So let's start by creation of the 3D model in the next video. Thanks for watching.